GarageBand is a fantastic option for podcasters. It's free, comes as standard with Apple Macs and is super easy to use, especially if you are familiar with Apple products. Today, in this tutorial, I am going to walk you through each step involved in recording and editing your podcast episodes with GarageBand. I'm going to hold your hand throughout and at the end, you will be super confident in using GarageBand. So get comfy, hit subscribe, like this video and enjoy. So first things first, we, well, this is the screen that you will see when you first load up GarageBand. And what we need to do is hit empty project and click choose. We then need to choose a track type and we'll be using a microphone. Wonderful. So this screen might be overwhelming, but remember GarageBand has primarily been set up for musicians. So there's a lot of things that we can ignore. There's some things that we need to change and there's things that we need to test as well before we hit record. So let me show you that. So at the top, you'll see that we have information such as bar, beat, tempo. Helpful for musicians, not for us. So hit the drop down and hit time because what's much more helpful is knowing how long you have been recording for. What we also need to do is you see how these icons are highlighted in purple. We need to deselect them. So we don't need the counting and we definitely don't need the metronome. Let me show you why. I'm just gonna hit record. And then let me play that back. So you see how we have that tempo playing in the background. We don't want that as podcasters, so we need to make sure that that is deselected. I'm just going to delete this audio that we've just recorded, so I'm gonna select it and hit the backspace on my keyboard. Okay, couple more things. So now what we need to do is check our settings. So hit GarageBand, and you can find settings there. And then we need to go to audio. So here we need to check that everything is set up correctly. So input device. So what are you using to listen back to your recording? So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using my MacBook speakers, but you'll probably be using headphones if you're recording for your podcast. So make sure that is selected. Input device, that is just what you're using to record and I'm using my Samsung Q2U, so that is the right one that has been selected there. So I'm happy, things are set up as they should be. Now, I wanna bring your attention to recording settings down here, and I wanna show you the difference between the inputs. So we have input one and two, and input one. Now, input one and two is stereo, so what that means is audio that's recorded will be played across separate speakers. So you'll have some audio play back on your left speaker and some audio play back on your right speaker. If you hit mono, this means that the audio is shared across both speakers. So it's shared across the left and the right. So make sure you've got the input set up how you want. I'm going to select mono and as you can see as well, you see this green bar, as you toggle between them, you can see that stereo, you've got your two bars, mono, you've got your one. Okay, wonderful stuff. Now, one last thing before we hit record is we need to check our volume levels. So as you can see here, this is moving up and down as I speak. Now, what we don't want is for our volume to get too high because if it gets too loud, it sounds distorted. It's what's known in the industry as clipping. So let me show you that. So if I talk very loudly, you can see that that bar goes to yellow and red. That's not what we want because it's gonna sound distorted and not great to listen back to. So just make sure that your audio levels are around, like it's staying within the green. It's loud enough, but not too loud that it gets to the yellow and red. And you can mess around with this. So here you've got a little volume toggle. So when you record, you can play back and, and tweak it like, oh, I can move it up if it's too quiet or move it down if it's too loud. And then another handy thing is renaming the track. 
So I'm going to talk about my morning routine. So that's what I'm going to call the track because that's much more helpful for me um, when I'm looking at this in a couple more days time, right? So name it something that's going to be helpful and yeah, something for future you. So let me record and tell you all about my morning routine. My morning routine starts at seven o'clock. That's when my alarm clock goes off in the morning. So first things that I do is put on some clothes and I take my dog out for a morning walk. Then when we get back, it's time for breakfast. So I make sure that I sort out Benny the dog. He has everything he needs and I have breakfast and I can't start the day without a glass of orange juice and some coffee. Then it's time for me to jump into the shower and get ready so I make sure that I'm ready to start work at eight o'clock. There we go. So let me play that back to you. My morning routine starts at seven o'clock. That's when my alarm clock goes off in the morning. So first things that I do is put on some clothes and I take my dog out for a morning walk. Then when we get back, it's time for breakfast. So I make sure that I sort out Benny the dog. He has everything he needs and I have breakfast and I can't start the day without a glass of orange juice and some coffee. Then it's time for me to jump into the shower and get ready. So I make sure that I'm ready to start work at eight o'clock. Wonderful. So I've listened back to it. I'm happy. The volumes are right. I'm happy with my recording. Um, so I've got other options here. So maybe I want to record something else. So here I can add another track, make sure that we're setting it up correctly. And maybe this is what I'm getting, uh, my lunchtime, yeah? And then I just do the same process as before. Just make sure that, um, so depending on where you leave, this is where it will start recording from. Um, so it's fine here because it's after the morning routine. But if you were to do it recording here, um, the morning routine would play in the background as you're recording. Now that's not necessarily an issue because you've got a solo icon here. So if you hit the solo icon, you can mute all the other tracks. So what I need to do is save it. So that's really easy to do. So what you need to do is go to file, save as, and call it something. So morning and lunch time routine. And as you can see, GarageBand automatically saves it to their file. So they have garage band where all your projects are saved to obviously you can choose where you want to save it to um so whether that's your desktop maybe it's another folder so just make sure that where you save it is easy for you to find next time so then when you're ready to edit you can easily find it and you don't have a headache and then you just hit save so let's show you how you can edit using GarageBand. Now, obviously I'm just continuing, aren't I? So I've just recorded. So the project is open in front of me, ready to edit. However, you might be editing it on another day or when you open GarageBand, it doesn't automatically show you the right project. That's fine. All you need to do is click file, open. And then depending on where you have saved, your project so I saved it in GarageBand's folder and it's there and I obviously named it something that was easy for me to find next time and I just select open down the bottom here you'll see a scroll bar and you can see that it shifts what is in view what you can also do is there is a zoom in and out up here so obviously you might want to zoom out so you can see all the tracks on your screen or you might want to zoom in because you want to work on a specific area and that's what I want to do. I want to work on a specific area. So I'm just going to play back the end because I think I want to change something. Make sure that I'm ready to start work at eight o'clock. Okay, so I don't start work at eight o'clock. I actually start work at 8.30. So there's an error there that I need to change. And that's really simple to do. So we need to come over to edit, 
hit split regions at playhead. You can also just hit command and T. So I literally just select that bit and hit backspace on my keyboard. Now I want to re-record that bit. So right click new audio track, rename, let's re-record. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remember that solo icon and I'm gonna hit record. To start work at 8.30. So again, I'm going to use the shortcut, Command T, delete it, drag, and then I can play it back. To start work at 8.30. That's how you would delete sections and how you re-record. Let's move on. Let's say, for example, you want to add music. Really easily, what you can do is find what you want. So I've saved my music onto my desktop and this is um, the music that I want to go for. So I literally just drag and drop. And as you can see, it's automatically created a new track. Have a listen to the start. I like the sound of that. And I've decided that I want my voice to come in at that, at that place. So split regions at playhead and then drag that down here. Okay. So let's have a play around. So I've got my intro music. I've got the bit where I want my voice to come in. And as you can see, there's a bit of space there. So I'm just going to tidy this bit up. Let's see how that sounds. The music is far too loud. So let's turn the volume right down. My morning routine starts at seven o'clock. Okay, that is much better. You can also fade the music out. So what you need to do, so as you see here in my um, toolbar, I've got this little icon. So go to show automation and then that's how you get that icon up there in the first place. If I select the audio, it gives me a line. Yeah, that yellow line. I'll select the beginning, select the end and then just drag this down. And as you can see, I'll unmute that. Um, so what this will do is it will gradually fade out the music. So it sounds really nice, really professional. And that's a nice little hack there. You're ready now to upload it to your podcast host. So obviously if you use Captivate, that's where you'd upload it to. To do that, you go to share, export song to disc. You want to make sure that it is in MP3. Um, because that's that's the most used format. You've got your different quality here. So you've got low, medium, high or highest quality. Hit export. And that's a wrap. Sadly, that is all that we have time for. But you should now be super confident in using GarageBand for your podcast. Here at Captivate, we love to spoil you. We love to spoil podcasters. So we have a ton of free resources to help you with podcasting. What you need to do now is check out the description as there'll be a link to an article that talks about GarageBand. And there's also a link to a free 45 second quiz that identifies that one blocker that is stopping you from launching your podcast and will give you steps of how you can overcome it. We constantly post new videos on our YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think to this video and let us know any questions in the comments. Happy podcasting, everyone.